morning guys so it is thursday which is my food shopping day my food shopping day used to be wednesday but now it's thursday because it's my rest day from the gym and i use that very loosely because every week i'm like maybe i'll go to the gym do like a light lift and then every week thursday rolls around and i'm like oh my god i'm so freaking sore i'm so tired this rest day is perfectly planned i'm not going to the gym so i don't know what i'm doing yet but it is 8 10 in the morning i have been up i mean i had an alarm for 6 45 since trey's in the field and we don't really need to wake up at 5 a.m i don't especially since it's a rest day um it's not like i can go to the gyms early here anyway i have to wait till 9 a.m so usually i would just like i said sleep wake up whatever um anyway what was i going to say it's time for some french press coffee that's what i was going to say so that's how i'm starting my morning my productive day we're gonna hope it's productive we'll see it usually is um i need to food shop i have a bunch of things to clean yeah we'll just see where the day takes us today Alright guys, so here we go with the French press. Um, we buy our coffee whole beans so that way we grind it and do all that on our own because it's a little fresher that way. We don't mind the extra work. It's really not that bad at all and it's worth it for the French press in our opinion. So I was just grinding up the beans, throwing them in the French press and then I had to get started on the water boiling in the tea kettle which I think is the best thing that we got for Christmas from Trey's mom. I love that thing. We use it every single day. We use it for tea. We use it for French press. We use it for oats if we want to make oats really quickly. Literally use it for everything. I even fill it up and refill our espresso machine water tank with it when I don't want to pull the tank all the way out because balancing the tank when it's full with water is difficult sometimes. So I prefer using a tea kettle, just sliding out the tank a little bit and filling it up with that. dressed it's now 9 36 so i'm gonna get ready to food shop and then start my day i kind of want to food shop possibly go to other stores like i need to go to the commissary and aldi i might stop at dollar tree it, it turns 50 degrees and these flies come out of nowhere and by come out of nowhere i mean one is stuck between my bedroom window and the screen so like i feel like they were hibernating and now they're just coming back to life and i'm finding them so I want to see if I can find a fly swatter. So I'm okay using our shoes, but sometimes I just want a friggin' fly swatter. So I need to hit Dollar Tree possibly for that. And maybe just to look around. I don't know. I was debating going to like TJ Maxx, Burlington, like stores like that. But I kind of had a, a lot of cleaning I need to do here. So I might not do that shopping. I might leave that for another day. There's nothing specific that I need or want. I just wanted to get out of the house since I'm not going to the gym and shopping was I guess the only thing I could think of. Not even shopping, I mean I would probably buy stuff, but it was more just browsing. Now I need to get out some ground beef to start defrosting in the fridge because it's Thursday and I plan on cooking that probably on Sunday, but I put it in the fridge to defrost because it takes a while and I also figured if I start Thursday, then maybe by Saturday it's all defrosted, I can marinate it on Saturday. Marinate all day Saturday, cook it Sunday. This is me planning ahead. Also, so I'm listening, I'm watching, listening to a YouTube video, but this is our ground beef from our cow that we ordered and it looks so freaking good. 
Um, I got it processed into, sorry, here we go. I got it processed into two pound bags or two pound packages because usually if we do one pound, that's about one meal for us for just Trey and I, it's crazy. Sometimes I can have a little bit of leftovers, but usually not. And I like to cook up a ground of, a ground. I like to cook up a pound of ground beef for me for meal prep for the week for lunches. So two pounds is perfect because I'll cook it and then I have leftovers for my meal prep. So it's like a two for one thing. I should also probably eat before I leave because Dad is asking for trouble if I don't. So I'm gonna have an oatmeal ball because these are my favorites. Okay, so pig people just call me the pig butchers. So I just finished up setting up our like how we want our half pig. Well, we only did a half pig because it's our first time doing a pig. We got a whole cow because we know we eat a ton of beef. We will eat everything. Like I get bones, suet, like literally everything. Organs, the whole thing. We use everything. Pig, I cook with a bunch of pork, but I can't say what I, well, what I should say is I used to cook with a ton of pork. I don't use a ton now just because it's not really the first thing that jumps out at us other than bacon probably and sausage. So that's why we went with just half a pig. It's kind of like weekend fun meals. So that is super fun and exciting. They said that they would call me when it's ready to get picked up. Don't know what day that could be. Hopefully it's when Trey gets back because those boxes will be heavy, but I'll survive. So that's super exciting, which means I might have to spend some time in the garage today reorganizing our freezers just to make sure that there is plenty of room so I can have the pig separated from the beef so that I know exactly what is where. Super fun and exciting. I'm gonna go to Aldi and Walmart now, not Walmart, oops, Aldi in the commissary. And then I will probably film my grocery haul, do some prep maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I'm gonna food shop first and if I feel like going to other stores, I will. And if I don't, then I won't. That That's about it. And yeah, I still kind of like don't really know what my to-do list is for today. Like, I know I have to do a lot of cleaning. I want to clean the dryer vent. I know we just got here, but I'm sure nobody else has really done it, so I want to do it. I want to clean out um, like the dishwasher. I usually run a cleaning cycle in the dishwasher like once a month, so I want to do that because it's a new month. I need to change the air filter screen outside, which I might go do right now, right before I leave. You know when you have a lot of things to do, like little tasks, but you don't know how to order them so that they make sense, so that way you're not running around wasting time too much? I don't know. That's where I'm stuck at. I have a bunch of little tasks and I don't know when I'm actually gonna do them or in what order I should do them so that they make logical sense. So I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, which is way worse. Anyway, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I just got back from food shopping. It is 11.50 exactly right now. I changed out the air filter in our like HVAC system thing for the month. We do it every month, so that's good. I went to all the commissary dollar tree you're gonna have to see the grocery haul video to see all the stuff i got from those three stores but yeah i'm just glad i'm home so i'm going to unload the groceries well they're already in the house i'm gonna set them up fill my grocery haul and then get back to this video i want to sweep out the garage it's super sandy from all the snow and the salt when all that happened so i want to get that out so that way i can also check the freezer statuses out there and just reorganize them a little bit so that they're a little better. So anyway, time to set up for the grocery haul. Okay, now that I'm done with the grocery haul and putting most of the groceries away, we are going to sweep out the garage or at least sweep up the garage and then put some things in the freezer and deal with that whole hoopla. Okay, so now moving on to cleaning out the garage or just sweeping it up. Nima is such a genius dog. She literally stood in the way the whole time until I told her to move. And it was getting pretty dusty in there. So then I opened up the garage door just a little bit, but it was so windy outside that some of the times when the wind blew, it blew the dust right back into the garage, which was really frustrating. But I got a majority of the dust, dirt, whatever it was out. So that just felt really good. I was talking about 
earlier or in last video, I don't know, about this like dryer cleaning kit that I got from Amazon. So it came with this long brush and it came with, let's see, this thing. So like a long flexible hose and a little extender thing. So like that toppered one is an extender attached to the other extender that's attached to the hose. And this is to clean your dryer vents, which you should be cleaning your dryer vents. I'm super excited about it because it attaches to our Dyson. So I'm gonna try it out because I told Trey, we have to clean our dryer vents. I need to order this right now. I mean, he was like, I trust your judgment. I just tell him usually when I'm getting like exciting things like something to clean the dryer vent. So let's try to set you guys up. This feels very dangerous, but I just have to be aware of you guys. this right before I used it and so now you can see all the stuff I got out of our dryer down there so a good little bit I thought considering you know I don't know never done this before to this dryer or in this place so super cool and I really like it so that kit was only like $14 on Amazon So I don't know about anyone else, but I love wiping down the counters and just feeling like the counters are clean. There's no crumbs on them. There's no stains. There's no nothing. So I had a great time doing this and I try to wipe down the counters whenever I'm about to run the vacuum so that the vacuum can just pick up the crumbs from the floor. And on this day, I was actually decreasing our stove because it was pretty dirty. So I like to take off the burners fully and really get in there and use that degreaser that I get from Dollar Tree that I swear works miracles on the stove. I don't know what it is about that stuff, but it works amazingly. So while La Machina starts vacuuming up downstairs, I'm still downstairs, I'm in the half bath downstairs, I decided to wipe down the counter in there, put gingerbread fragrance oil in the diffuser. I'm still kind of on my winter scents. I've been enjoying them and I'm also trying to use up the gingerbread one. I feel like my favorite winter scent is probably apple cinnamon and that's also a fall scent, I don't know, so I just like it. 
But anyway, I put on that diffuser daily downstairs. I threw in a toilet tab and while that started fizzing, I put trash bags in the little trash can and I scrubbed out the toilet. And then that was pretty quick and simple for that bathroom downstairs. So then I filled up our main diffuser in the living room area. And then I decided to head outside and handle that chest freezer. I had to wait a good bit for that dust to settle in there. But now I just put all the bread in the chest freezer, which was a bunch of Tetris because every time I shut it, if there was a little gap or if I had to squish the bread to get it to close fully, I would reorganize it in there. But it fit eventually. Okay, so while La Machina runs downstairs and vacuums all of that up, I'm gonna come upstairs, shower, change, and then I'm going to run El Vacuum, which is what I named the other one. So, there's that. And I need to clean up our bathroom up here. Just, you know, wipe things down, scrub the toilet, the whole thing. wiping our bathroom upstairs and this spray bottle that I got from Walmart does not spray anymore really annoying this sprayer thingamajiggy broke on it a while ago so I just pour out the cleaning solution because I'm not gonna go buy another spray bottle for no reason I'm just gonna use a different spray bottle from a different cleaner when it runs out if that makes any sense I have a cleaner under my sink in the kitchen that is pretty close to running out I just need to finish using it so that way I can use that spray bottle or upstairs so until then I just pour the cleaner out onto the countertops and wipe everything down and away so I'm the worst and I got the worst angle ever to scrub out the bathtub so this is the only clip you're going to get of it because the rest of the clips you literally see nothing but now i move on to the toilet and i do have the toilet tabs upstairs but since i'm trying to use up the cleaner in that bottle i just dump some cleaner in the toilet and scrub the toilet and since i was done upstairs i checked the floors to make sure everything was clear and then i decided to run el vacuum which you can see nima is very interested in she usually doesn't care too much about them. She knows to just get out of their way that if she doesn't move, they will bump into her and she's not the biggest fan of that. She just gets confused like, why did you just touch me? So, decided to run a vacuum and then I grabbed some laundry and took it downstairs to throw into the washer, which was fun and exciting that I had enough to do a load because I wasn't sure if I would or wouldn't, but I forgot Trey's robe upstairs, so that sucks. And on that note, I forgot to film an outro clip because Trey actually surprised me and came home early this day from the field. So then I just completely stopped filming because I just wanted to spend time with him. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.